Okay, I am back, and I've drawn a rectangle so I know what to stay in so that you can see. We're going to do the dark umber, 1047. I am going to do sienna brown, 945. Then putty beige at 1083. And... 10% cool gray at 1059. Again, use any colors you want. These are just the ones I'm going with. These are Prismacolor. Um, but anyway, let's get started. So this area right here is going to get all this dark. And again, these will be available over in my Etsy shop. This is video number five, four, four. So um, when you purchase, please tell them to send me a message. You'll have an opportunity there to start a conversation. I need for you to tell me your email address because they will only let me send you five printouts at a time and I want to send you the color copies of every one of these original photos. And the only way I can do that is for you to send me an email address to send them to, okay? All these little dark dots. I'm sorry, I'm using 947. Good question. All right. So yeah, so you're going to need to actually start a conversation and um, ask me for those color copies and then give me the address where I can send them to. And I will get them sent out to you just as soon as I'm able to uh, be at home and send that out because I want everybody to have that because that way when you're making your tutorial notebook, you can put that in there. All right, I'm hoping you're actually doing a notebook that shows you different colors that you use on different things so that when you come across a brick house or building that you need to do, that um, you can just turn that page and go, oh yeah, I like the way that looks. What colors did I use? Okay, and because this is grayscale, it's going to help you to see how to manipulate your colors. And then when you have one that's not, you're going to go, oh, yeah, I remember how to do that. Okay? So that's the reasoning for that. Um, we're also going to take this and lay it on its side, the same, nine, uh, yeah, 947. And I'm just going to do the medium areas in this dark. I'm just laying my pencil on its side, that way it deepens it some without totally darkening it. All right? Now I'm doing just a section off each of these pages, and then you'll be able to look at those sections that you've done with me and go back and finish those, the rest of it on your own. 945, we're going to use now, and I'm going to start on its side and lay in color and the darker areas okay leave some of that lighter area open i don't we i've been talking about this for a while about bricks how they're not all the same they're not perfect there's a lot of different stuff thrown into bricks the texture and the color so let's get that in just laying colors over the top of each other. It's going to give us so much more dimension. So I'm just going for that medium color that's in the background on these bricks. And when you're printed it out and doing these in person, you can see that color so much easier. Okay? And I'm not even sticking with necessarily the colors that are on the originals. I am changing it up just a little, okay? So when you get your pages, that's up to you to do that, you know? 
All right, next, I think I'm going to go with the cool gray next. Actually, I'm going to pick that brown up and do just a little bit in here, just a little. You've seen me before. If I use a color in one area, I'll use it in multiple areas just to help pull it through. And I don't want that brick to just be in your face later. So I'll go ahead and add a little bit of this brown to it just to help balance it out. And that's another one that's going to be kind of the same. And here, so we'll just include these in. All right. Now this dark brick, there are more on here, but they're really spaced out. But yet when they're on the house as a whole, it was really nice. All right, so there's that. Now next, um, I'm going to go with the, I'm gonna go with the 1059, and we're gonna go ahead and do this one. This is the lightest one, and it has almost a blue cast to it. And that's why I picked the cool gray. Your cool colors are your greens and blues. The colors of the water, the sky, the grass. Those are your cool colors. Your warmer colors are going to have your reds, oranges, and yellows. But this is more of a cool. It's got that blue undertone to it. All right. So we use that cool there. And it really helped knock that back some. We're going to use just a little bit in here because what we use in one space, we carry over into other spaces. So we're doing just a little bit. So they threw some of that same composite into these bricks, just not as much. Okay, so get those light colors in there. And see there's I'm not taking a lot of time with these okay now we're going to come over to the putty beige which is your um, 1083 now we're going to finish up these bricks I'm going to come in and just start doing across this is going to help blend some of those colors don't blend them too much you still want them to look imperfect and textured but it's just going to help knock back some of that color and get rid of some of that white tooth that is in my paper I use a uh, cardstock and you can use the stuff that sold at um, your craft stores I got some that was online on Amazon and just bought a package of 500 and um, I've been happy with it, just enough tooth for me. It's not anything that's thick enough to really watercolor on, but it's fine for my coloring pages and doing what I want to do. So, and again, I'm just coming in here now and covering up all the rest of that white. Just getting that covered getting these bricks in place. Now when you're doing a coloring page and you're thinking, hmm, what color brick? Go to your tutorial notebook that you're making, hopefully. Flip through the pages and look and see, because we're doing, it'll be five different brick walls by the time we're finished with this. And you can actually put the, um, when you're doing a book on this side, you can do your one that you colored and on this side you can put the color copy and you can list all the colors you've used and that way when you open that up you've got them side by side and you can see what's going on so I thought it was a good idea anyway we'll see it's just a good thing for reference and I want this to have some really dark areas in it this brick so I'm not going to go over the whole thing I am going to leave some of that. See how I left those two bits really dark? Okay, and then doing this one. 
and then we're going to do that mix that's between the bricks. And I'm wondering if I pulled colors for that. I think the color I'm using now was going to be part of that. Is this 1083? It is. Okay. So this is part of what I wanted to use. All right, so that in between in between part, we're going to use this 1083, but we're also going to use this dark dark. Now use this sparingly, okay? This 947. We're going up under the edge of the bricks. Just the bricks. I didn't go all the way across. See, this is not done. Just under the edges. What's that doing? That's setting a shadow because the sun is coming from the top. So if I shadow underneath each brick, it makes that brick pop up to the front a little bit and look more dimensional. Okay, so if you're doing a regular coloring page that is not grayscale, if you will go under every brick with just a little bit, whoops, I got way out of the line, if with just a little bit darker color, it'll make those bricks leave a shadow. Okay, then I'm going to take that um, putty beige that's 1083, and I'm going to do all the rest of this area with that. That's what I want to use for my base color here and just get that in. And if you drag some of that shadow color with it, that is absolutely fine. It's going to give it more dimension. I like those bricks. I just I like the colors on them. Now, let's zoom out and see what we have. Sorry, I don't have oh no, what did I do? There we go. Um should be a way for me to zoom back out of this. There it is. I don't have a remote for this, so I'm still doing everything by hand. All right, went way out. Let's go back a little bit. There. So now you can see the entire brick. Okay, so there it is. So that was our, um, yeah, and you saw it here, our other brick that we were just now doing. So the next one is going to be kind of a red and, um, Oh, maybe a dark umber color with some flecks in it. So let me turn this off and we'll get started on that next. Oh, down underneath in the comments, that's where the link is where you can purchase these. And again, don't forget to start a Etsy conversation with me so that I have your email so I can send you the color copies for this. I'm not keeping your address though, so if there's something else I need to send you at another time, You'll have to start another conversation because I don't do anything with those addresses. It's like in one ear and out the other, in my computer and back out again. All right, see you on the next one in a few.